their battles were fought in the dead of night. In all weathers, in small, lightly constructed boats stuffed with high octane petrol. Range of targets. Fighting the enemy in the pitch dark, with the throttles wide open. Their engines roaring, these tiny warships crashed through the sea at 40 knots, fighting eyeball to eyeball with the Germans and the Japanese. Theirs is one of the most remarkable and untold stories of the Second World War. Their successes have become legends and rank among some of the greatest achievements of the war. They were the Royal Navy's coastal forces. The men of coastal forces lived, fought and sometimes died together, packed into small boats face to face with the enemy. Coastal forces was born with this spirit. One of their greatest triumphs was the raid on Saint-Nazaire. It was the site of a giant dry dock, the only one able to hold the great German battleship, the Tirpitz. One night, a small flotilla of coastal forces craft escorted the converted destroyer, HMS Campbelltown, her forward compartments packed with hidden high explosives. They led her right up to the dock gates at point-blank range from the German guns. Campbelltown rammed the gates. The bomb was delayed action. But coastal forces had a hard battle in the early years of the war with the Vospers and British powerboats, referred to as short boats, challenging in the most courageous way the superior German e-boats. Coastal forces fought all over the world, from the home waters, the Channel and North Sea, to the Mediterranean and the Far East. Theirs is a story that has never properly been told.